Hi everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. Uh, today we have a Ford F550 Super Duty. It's a 2006. Uh, one of my neighbors owns it. He runs a construction business. And he loves these Ford Super Duties diesels. Uh, this one, he says, it has a warning message on the cluster. It says TBC fault, trailer brake controller. And something's wrong with the trailer brakes. And obviously, this truck tows all the time, so it needs to have the trailer brakes working. So let's have a look at this thing. Scan it for codes, and see on the cluster here, you'll see the message. TBC fault. Okay, so here's the trailer brake controller. This is the OEM unit. Now, I slid it out of the dash. Uh, again, not as easy as it looks. You have a little clip here that you have to depress. You have a, this plastic clip that you have to depress. Kind of move the dash out of the way so you can poke at that. Um, but, this is the manual engagement and it's just not happy. It's beeping all the time. You have a red trailer and on the gain I could push the plus and I got it all the way to 10 but pushing the minus does nothing. Let's see what code is stored. So this is a full health report TBC trailer brake control module. We have a B1342 ECU electronic control unit internal error. That does not sound good. Sounds like you need to replace this box. <laughs> so, you can talk to it, you can read the data. For example, your uh, brake pedal, if you push it, that should say active. Manual trailer apply, so when I push the, uh, that goes all the way to 100, that works. Trailer brake control output voltage, it goes from zero all the way to 11 or 12 and then you see the gain is stuck at 100 but there's an issue with this thing if you do a quick google search on this code B1342 you'll see that a common issue with these is cracked solder joints inside the box. So before calling this module and saying replace it, because it does cost several hundred dollars, and the customer says, you know, whatever the cheapest, easiest way to fix it, just do it. I have a spare brake controller aftermarket unit. But if we can fix the OEM, let's try to fix the OEM with no parts required. So this thing, once you pull it out of the dash, and be careful, don't pull too hard because <laughs> The face will come off. It just has two plugs, so let's unplug it, take it to the bench, see what we find. All right, so here's our trailer brake controller. You can see it's full of dust, like dust is pouring out of it. So I'm just gonna give it a quick blast. With the, uh... <laughs> there we go. Now there are four little tiny torque screws, or at least two right here holding it together. Oh man, there's still stuff pouring out of here. Let's tear it apart. Perfect time to try out a new little tool. Kaiwitz 131 Scred driver kit. Well, <laughs> hey, as long as it has the right bit in it, I don't really care about the spelling. So here we have the Torx, Torx bits. Let's see which one might fit in here. Nine, eight. Oh, that's close, even smaller than that. Seven. Seven. Look how tiny that is. So this sucker comes with the holder. Let's see. That should work. There's 
one more right here. see if there's more screws hiding in here. Alright, so I figured it out. On the bottom you have to take these two screws out with the little spring plates. And those actually hold the unit together on this side. Okay. Get those out. Now here we go. So again, we'll blow this out. I can already see that solder joint right there. is definitely cracked, messed up. So we'll do a, a careful visual inspection of the entire unit. See if there's any other joints that need to be reflowed. So after a, a careful visual inspection, the only bad solder joint I see on the entire assembly here is on the display part of the unit so that's it's like this this middle one you can see it's completely separated so let's just reflow that one plug it back in see if anything changes let's fire up the TS100 battery powered soldering iron and just reflow that one solder joint see what happens so 400C is the maximum preset temperature and it gets there impressively fast so first let's um, see if we can melt the existing solder on there and then I'm going to touch some new solder to help help the flow all right Definitely, definitely in there. Let's uh, put this thing back together. See, see if it's happy. All right, let's see, it's on. We still got a red, and we have a TBC fault. It's still red. Check trailer. Well, it says check trailer. Oh, look, we can actually change the gain now. Well, that's promising. Let's go in here, enter, read fault code, clear DTCs. And Keon engine off self test. No DTCs. Okay. So just go to the data stream. Let's see, manual trailer. It says check trailer. Right there. It doesn't say TBC fault. It says check trailer. So that works. And now the gain, see it's 45%, it's 4.5. Let's go up. All the way up to 100. 
Can we go down? So make sure that button works. So if I squeeze it like this, it works. That works. Just want to be 100% that there's no no other bad contacts here on this board. See that button works fine. This button you got to hold the board down. So there might be another bad connection, but I think we're in good shape. That was the main problem is that one cracked solder joint. All right, we're back in action here. So I put a little piece of Gorilla Tape behind that button just so it would react and perfect. I mean, back in business. Got to put this back together. Be a happy customer, no parts required. So sometimes Google and people who put information out on the internet, it's, it's great. So knowledge is power and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.